am I glad to see you, Wizard. I'm afraid all the renovations we've done in Wizard City have led to a few unintended consequences. You know, construction noise, dust, broken windows, and a handful of seismic tremors. Nothing major, but we did cause this hole in the bedrock. I had directed my crew to fix the hole ASAP, but apparently curiosity got the better of young Doug. Doug's always been keen on holes. A natural born digger, that one. <laughs> Unfortunately, he never quite mastered the art of digging himself out. According to the city plans, there's a network of runoff drains running beneath this area. Poor guy probably just can't find his way out. Or he's got himself cornered by a cave troll or a sewer cracking. Dog's always going on about being afraid of cave trolls and sewer crackings. More than likely, he's simply gotten lost and disoriented in the dark. Dog's even more afraid of the dark. Please, wizard, you gotta go down there and rescue Dog. His mom will kill us if something happens to him. My inquisitive crewman Doug is lost in the drains below the city. Could you venture down the hole and bring him out? A nasty little top sight. Let me guess, you's looking for that fuzzy flea farm what came scratching round here, ain't you? I'd be happy to tell you where he is, but I'm gonna need me a little favor first. You see them workers over there? They stole my tools. I can't work without my tools, and the boss don't allow no freeloaders. Capiche? You get me my tools, and I'll tell you where your doggy is. with Manny. We didn't know he was going to sick a topsider on us. Here, give the big lava his tools, man. My tools! Now I can finally get back to work. Thanks, topster. Wizard. I seen your dog pal a while back. Poor Pooch was running around, whimpering, scratching at every door he could find. Then, he made the mistake of scratching at that door over there. The one to the boss's office. Ain't seen hide nor hair of him since. I don't recommend entering the boss's office uninvited. But if you tell them that Manny Dibbles sent you, you should be okay. Probably. Good luck. Right there, you disgusting little topsider. What's that? Manny Dibble sent you? <laughs> I dislike that freeloading bum more than topsiders.
what they says. If you seize one topsider, there are thousands more you can't see. Let's book it out of here before the infestation. Nasty! Oh, better get rid of that disgusting topsider before the boss finds out. It is rude to barge into a place of business without an appointment. Boys, let us teach this topsider a lesson in proper office etiquette. that you have so forcefully encroached up in my beloved drains. You have come to retrieve Doug? You must mean Douglas. I see. Well then, let us continue our business in a less formal setting. Meet me outside. If I have this strength, you trespass in my drains, assault me and my associates, and you wish to abscond with my best worker? You got moxie, kid. I like that. I am willing to negotiate for Douglas's services, but of course, I will require compensation in return. The various renovation projects that you topsiders have conducted up in Wizard City have caused significant structural damage to my drains. My workers have tried to fix things, but they are but humble sanitation engineers, not builders. Fix the structural damage, and then we'll talk.
Ben. The walls are practically good as new. Thank you. Now that I know you can be trusted, let us discuss our mutual acquaintance. As you may know, Douglas possesses prodigious digging skills, surpassed only by his loyalty and desire to prove himself as the goodest of good boys. At present, Douglas is clearing the rubble from a collapsed service tunnel, a feat my other workers could not even dream of endeavoring to do. He's been hard at work for days now and should be close to finished. Go fetch Douglas from service tunnel C and then we can discuss next steps. Swear on my shovel, mate. I weren't trying to disturb no one's eternal sleep. Well, I was just digging because the boss told me to. Silence, dogman. Desecrating the grave of a failed tree minder is punishable by death. Wait, who is this? Your grave robbing accomplice? Oh, spectacular timing, wizard. Help! You've learned your lesson, right? Good. Now be gone. The lot of you. And uh, no more disturbing graves. Understood? Understood. Come on, wizard. Let's I tell it out of here. What happened, Mr. The Boss, sir, was I was all but done digging the rubble out when I accidentally dug through the floor. Then this Barmby chap appears out of nowhere, moaning that I woke him up and starts in on me. I'd be dead if it weren't for the wizard. Oh, Douglas, not only are you an expert digger, but you are also an expert comedian. Your completely implausible ghost story amuses me. Ha 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 ha. 
<laughs> yeah, well, all right then. Since the tunnel's mostly cleared, I was wondering if I could go back up topside. My lunch is getting cold. Of course, Douglas. You've more than earned that lunch. You and your wizard friend are always welcome down here in my drains. Arrivederci. You found... Dougie! You got out! Did you get in by a cave troll or a sewer cracking? Uh, no. I don't think so. But I did almost get molly walloped by a really tired old arborist. Proper grumpy fellow he was. Well, we're just happy you're back. Me too. It's all thanks to the wizard. Now, if and it's all right with you lot, I'd really like to eat me lunch now. Oh, uh, well, Dougie, me boy, I'm afraid I got some bad news. Thank you. 